Hey, babe. Can you come here for a second? Oh, you're looking for your phone? Yeah, um, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I found it. Yeah, you leave your stuff everywhere. Um, the question would be though, why do you have two phones? Don't look at me like that. You're so careless and forgetful. The fact that you thought you could pull this off is honestly kind of funny. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm being mean. You've never heard me be mean, so don't you dare. No, don't. Don't call me that. You can drop the act. Just be yourself now, you know? You know, I saw you trying to, you know, organize your life a little. You're being more mindful of your actions. <laughs> I really thought you were putting effort to like better yourself. You know, I was proud. But then I thought about it more and more. And then I realized that you slipped up. And you've been slipping up for a while now, actually. And, you know, with all the trust I had in you, it felt it really felt unreal, it felt kind of strange. You know, the person I love so much with all my heart, just cheating on me, no guilt. How I found out? <laughs> Why would I go into detail for you? Was this fucking criminal minds? Do I need to tell you how I caught you? How I found out? For you to get better at it? <laughs> I have your phone. Here. Open it. Read the messages. Read them out loud. Do it. Remember what I said? You can be yourself. Read the text. No. No, I'm gonna hold the phone. Come on, go ahead. Why are you so hesitant? Do you not know where to start? Maybe you could pick up from, you were definitely the one I was waiting for. Or you could start from my personal favorite. They never made me feel this way. You have that spark. You have what they're missing. Or, you know, an honorable mention. I can't wait to spend the weekend with you. You deserve a vacation. You've been working so hard. You speechless. <laughs> We're both looking at the same thing. Why are you so shocked? Is that not you? That vacation was the family emergency you were packing for, wasn't it? <laughs> so ridiculous. No, I feel like breaking your phone, honestly. I feel like wrecking everything in this house. But... <laughs> I am against destruction of property, and I'm trying to remain civil and grounded. I was so subpar, wasn't I? If I never had what you were looking for, why not just leave? Why hide? Why act like you loved me? Do you think wasting my life is a joke? Is this a fucking joke for you? Yeah, yeah, you were the only one. I was present in this relationship the whole time. You clocked out a while ago because you found your soulmate. You could never see how in love I was with you because you were too busy loving someone else. <laughs> Did you hate me that much? Or were you just so fucking selfish? Just answer me. Why couldn't you just leave? 
Why did you have to let me witness this dishonesty, this betrayal? Do you hear yourself? What do you mean you were figuring out your feelings? Are you okay? Are you fucking crazy? You were dishonest from the beginning. You were actively pursuing them as if you were single. You obviously saw something that drew you to them to the point you forgot I existed. Oh, please. You love them. Don't piss me off, okay? You come home to me and you're waiting for the sun to rise so you can meet them again. You would come home and the longing in your eyes was never for me. You tell me you love me and your eyes never settled on me. You were always looking over my head, or over my shoulder, or just right through me. <laughs> was I the backup? You know, just in case the feelings weren't mutual? Even if I was, when their feelings were confirmed, why didn't you just let me go? <laughs> why are you even crying? Who hurt you? I'm being civil right now. I'm being kind to you right now. I'm not saying what I want to say. You don't deserve to cry. I won't even dare to insult myself to ask if it was something I did. I know what I gave this relationship and it was never anything to deserve this. No, I... I don't need you to tell me what I did well. I didn't matter enough to you, remember? But you know, one question. Did you ever love me? Like, actually. Like the love you have for them. You appreciated me. Wow. And that appreciation still didn't save me from this, this fucking embarrassment. You know, at the end of the day, there's no excuse why you couldn't just leave. I, I don't fucking get it. I should be honest? Are you kidding? I wouldn't have allowed you to leave if you told me. What would I have done? Tell me. Quickly. Since I have so much power, if I had told you not to cheat on me, you would have been faithful since what I say is so golden yeah I thought so even if I asked you to forget about them nothing would have happened nothing I did or say has any weight that's such a stupid excuse I did everything in my power to love you and I failed why would I have the power to restrict you from the one that you truly care about? Why would you listen to me then if you've never listened to me before? Yeah, yeah. You know, while you were so focused on them, I was stupidly focused on you. So I picked up your phone and I saw everything. So just admit it. It's not gonna kill you if you admit it. Nothing will happen. <laughs> of course I'm fucking leaving you. I thought that was obvious. What's my purpose in this relationship? Remember, you don't even like me. <laughs> I've accepted the fact that I was never the one. 
I wasn't the one you were looking for. I was more of a placeholder. I won't call myself foolish, though. I won't blame myself. I actually loved you. I won't blame myself for latching onto something I thought was true. I'll leave you to your life, and I'll get on with mine. I won't even waste another second. Why do you care that I'm leaving now? Of course I had things in place before I confronted you. I never intended to confront you and then just sleep next to you like apologies could patch this up. You only need to disrespect me once. I'll take the hint. No, please. Just go pack for your vacation. No, no, I'm sorry. Your family emergency. I have what's mine and I'm leaving you with what's yours. You know, maybe it's time to just stop talking. Specifically to me. I mean, what more is there to say? Do you have anything else to reveal? No, no, actually, don't think about that. Since we've broken up, you're no longer obligated to tell me a thing more as it regards to your personal affairs. Yeah, I wish you absolutely nothing. The wheel keeps on turning and one day you will be at the bottom. Everything you've done, good and bad, I will return to you.